Okay, here's another one, dude. Surprise. Surprise, guys. This box was around five, six hundred dollars. So there's gonna be a lot in here. What? There's pistols in here, so don't don't worry. Some more of these stands, a few of these. Probably on sale. Evic patch. I love these grips, man. Um, this might let you know what this is going on. But, uh, yeah, these fit so good on the Elite Force Glocks. I mean, absolutely perfect. Uh-oh, look at this. A steel threaded barrel for the Uzi. I'm going to make a video and put this on. And this box was ordered when they were during the, the week of People's Choice. And they gave me this for free. People's Choice with ASG. Oh man, this has been sitting here for a minute. This thing's going to be dry as dirt. ASG CZSP01 or a Shadow Mag. Uh, this one's gas. Okay, buffer two. But in the pic, I noticed this right off the bat. In the picture, this thing is for a gas blowback. It's not supposed to have this wire cut for an AEG on it. So I don't know what the hell that's about. And I also don't even know if it's going to fit or not. We'll test that out. I'll hurry up. I've got the. One of the things I'm, I want to put it on over there. Two barrels. Threaded barrels. We have a 14 millimeter Pro Arms Glock 17 Gen 3 and Gen 4 barrel. And then we have a 14 millimeter 19 and 19X barrel. And I'm going to tell you right now by looking at the arm. Look at this distance. This barrel is for a 19X. I bought it for the 19, but I can tell how far away this wing is from the front here. This barrel is made for a 19X, not a 19. It's made for that guide rod. There's more room up front, in front of this wing. And that is so the guide rod, the new style hop, adjustable guide rod hop, can fit in there. See how close this wing is? That's what all the non-adjustable hop-up guide rod pistols look like they need that so i'm a little upset another thing is there's not a ramp on the top right here like there is on all the other barrels this one included has a ramp you may not be able to see it in this plastic we'll do i, I have a full everything to upgrade the 19 so let's let's find let's find the pistols in here this was only 12 bucks long shirt kind of a jet that jacket thick material but it's an extra large and i'm a large that's the only bad thing oh new bucking um it has the dimple on the top because of how the hop is and that's where i put a ball bearing right there inside when you put the new um grub screw back in over top of the ball you can start hopping three twos. Oh man, I remember this. Okay, so this is supposed to be a 14, it's supposed to be 13 millimeters positive to 14 millimeters negative. Don't ever listen to comments from Facebook or anywhere like that because, um, this is what I was told over and over again when I said it has to be a 12 millimeter to fit in a Glock or a, a SIG. And, and this dude said, no, man, I bought 12s. They don't fit. It's a 13. And he swore it was a 13. And I bought this and um, I had already looked up and kind of found somebody that said, yeah, 14s do not fit. I'll test it out, but... Glock 19. I've been waiting for this bad boy. I know this is not a new new gun, but it's 
it's really what I have left. All the mags in it are in here. It's oh, okay, cool. Got your O-rings, just like normal, basic other stuff. See here, I'll quickly show you the wing. This is this sucker's tough. Oh wow, look at that. The wing is kind of far on this. My un one of my other unboxings I showed you guys, I have a steel guide rod for this as well. All my Glocks are upgraded barrels and guide rods and sometimes springs. Um, the hammer spring. So it looks like that barrel's gonna fit after all. Like, it still doesn't have a ramp top. God, this thing's caked in oil, dude. The frame's dry as a bone, but the slide's caked. Nice. Now I can... Now I have this thing finally to mess around with. Man. I'm getting bored of all of the other blocks. I'm going to do a Glock unboxing, man. I'm telling you. You're going to see nine Glocks. Nine different Glocks. Some of them are customs. So please look out for that video. I know you guys want that. Okay, this thing, I'm telling you, this box has been sitting here forever. And I, I got it on sale. Regular price, these are $200 for the, uh, this is the JW3. Typically, it, they're $200 for the... And this is the EMG version, in my opinion. It's the best one out of all of them, even though the, the grip isn't hand-stippled. It's more to the movie than any of the other Jag Arms or any of those. Okay, look. See here, you get the STI base plate. So the this is green gas version. You have the option to buy the CO2 version. Buy the CO2 version. I messed up. CO2 versus 25 bucks more. It's like 225. But it's been on sale for 175. I got this one for 145. Instead of the CO2, I found out that the CO2 version is made with a CNC slide. A CNC aluminum, like probably a 330, something like that. This this is a cheap molded cast slide. But you get with the uh, CO2 mag, you get the Terran Tactical base plate. That's the only way to get it. And none of the other options, none of the other brands that make this come with the, the actual Terran Tactical JW3 mag. But this one in CO2 does. So this is the high kappa. And uh, I should have kept my, my armor works in here so we could compare them. Uh, it looks just like an armor works pistol. I mean, that, look how far that sticks out. You can unscrew it. Bam. Now it's like normal. You boil this, boil, take this out, take the inner barrel out, and boil it. This is the John Wick 3. Special deals on Evic. I mean, 145 that's a steal for this piece. I mean, just collector's purposes alone. I think other people have said differently, but... This is the closest. It, I don't know how it looks in video, but in person, it looks like a burnt penny. And that's what the movie version looks like. It's dark. It's not as bright gold or bright bronze like the other ones. This one looks like a, a burnt, dark penny. And that's more to the movie, to the real, to the real thing. And then, of course, you also... I don't think you get this on the other options. The actual STI 2000 EMG. Oh, it says EMG in front of the serial number, but still it has the Texas STI logo. Finish looks pretty nice. Okay, so the grip's plastic like on most high kappas, this whole grip part. 
Everything else is metal, though. Everything else is metal. Last thing, I think. One more, one more thing, guys. I don't know what that album is. Oh, that's right. This has a captured guide rod. Do you guys know what that means? A captured guide rod? That means that you have to use an Allen wrench to take the guide rod out. You have to take the guide rod apart. It's, it's screwed or bolted together. All right. Terran Tactical JW3. Oop. You don't lose your Terran Tactical proof. What's in this guy? I don't even remember what this is, guys. Oh, wow. It's a long gray sight. I think I wanted to put this... I planned on putting this on one of my custom rifles. But, wow, that's pretty sick, though, that it has that magnifier extension on it. I wonder if it'll fit on my other one. I have a tan one. Oh, it, okay, so the lens will have to have inner threading for this to fit on another one. paint chipping that's it guys and uh i'll get to that upgrade the 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 upgrades for the barrels and everything and we'll check all that out man and we'll go through a bunch of glocks okay and we'll do barrels guide rods we'll do a bucking we'll put a maple leaf bucking on one um i'll show you how to mod the hop arms um, so that you can get better hop out of your, just the stock bucking in your regular old hop arm. I'll show you how you mod it. It's not as easy as you think. It's, it's, you have to be really careful. Um, and then I'm going to have an, a couple other, this is, this has got a big old airsoft in it. The biggest, heaviest airsoft. Oh, God, I said the G word. The, the biggest, heaviest airsoft that Evic had in stock. That's what's in this big stuff to open. That thing's full. Got a new gas blowback in there. Gas blowback in here. Both are GBBRs. This is my last, probably going to be my last AEG for a while because I'm going to be buying nothing but high-end GBBRs from now on and pistols in between. Um, but yeah, wait for this video. Um, my chrono's in here. Otherwise, this box weighs 26 pounds. All that's in here is the airsoft and one airsoft and a chrono. So I got to get in here and get my chrono. All right, guys, take it easy.